Hello there and uh, welcome back to my videos about Python and Flask. And in this video I will show how you can change the HTTP status on the fly. And it's pretty easy and it's very useful if you uh, not always uh, expect uh, the status code 200. And for this, uh, as default, if you don't do this uh, anyway, you can send out the status code 200 but you can say status 200 here and then you have customized the status or you can do it to put it in the in the right below here in the right uh, side sorry and then if we uh, starting the application here and going up and going for the browser and reload here you can see hello world and the status here is 200 I hope you can see that um so let's go back and what we want to do now it's it's uh it's faking like uh, we have a authentication page for the user so let's say the user here it's giving a 403 sorry that's meaning forbidden and then we say authenticate user not allowed something like that and of course going up here close it down and then we can start up again and reload we still have status 200 if we're going up here and say authentication here then you can see the authentication user is not allowed and down here we have the status 403 to say this forbidden so that's going back for the editor one more time. And when we are back, we will change, so we, we support to change the, the status code on the fly. So let's uh, use the request. And down below here, we say status code is equal to, um, it's a request, and we need the arguments, and get status, and that's, only if uh, the fallback I think that's a possible yes and then we're going back for the status 200 let's try this I'm not 100% sure that's working I just tried this off the box and then going for the browser again and no it doesn't work so let's do it on the other way It's not fallback we use so yes now it's the saying if it exists if it's not exist up here status then we need to use 200 else we can say everything else so now you can see it's forbidden and I can change it to 501 that's meaning it's not implemented so that's how you can change your code directly on the fly with using the flask and the status code and of course, normally you don't want to let the user um, change the, the status code. But in this case, where we're testing it, that's working perfectly. Normally you will dynamically change this based on the input and the output you want to serve to the, to the client. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoy it like me. And I hope you want to subscribe to this channel. You can do it to press on the thing in the right corner below. And of course, I hope you want to like this page and add it to your playlist and if you want the, the code you can go for my uh, github profile the links is uh, down in the description and then you can download all the source code and see everything else i have working on thank you so much for the subscription and i hope to see you next time bye bye